Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I am standing in my dining area. Today I'm gonna share with you some really simple fall or Thanksgiving tablescape ideas. Two quick things I wanna share with you before we get into the video. One, I am definitely a simple styler. There will not be layers and layers and layers of things on my tablescape. I like to use a lot of thrifted items, a lot of budget-friendly items. So I feel like these are very obtainable and, and just, again, simple, simple options. They are not over the top. And the second thing is, this is not a how-to on place settings. I am by no means a place setting expert. I do things very simply. So if you were looking for more of like a how-to for formal seating arrangements or formal place settings, this is just not that video. So I just wanted you guys to know these things uh, ahead of time. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Here is the dining room table that I'm gonna be working with and I just moved the extra chairs out of the way for now. Here I'm just going to go ahead and get started with a vase filled with some dried eucalyptus and then I'm going to go ahead and start getting out my brass candle holders. You guys know that I have so many of these and I just love the way a tablescape looks with lots of candles. Now to add some variation I definitely recommend changing the sizes and the shapes, even the level of patina that may be on your brass just gives the candlestick holder some variation and will also make your tapers hit at different lengths. Here you can really see that variation that I was talking about and it almost looks like there are layers of candlestick holders which is really what we want here. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and start adding some accents. I'm starting with these kind of wicker pumpkins and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some pine cones. I think these are a really great natural element to add to your table. This is just a faux stem that I'm going to go ahead and add into the dried eucalyptus. I just think this little pop of color in here will really do a great job of breaking up all of the green. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing my tapers in the holders. All right, now what you will see here is that I have not filled in every single candle holder with a taper. I kind of like the look of not everyone being filled in. If you wanted to fill them in, you could obviously do that. I did put a little one in down here, although I probably would not light it given how close it is to the dried florals. One thing I do also want to tell you guys is that this is not a table runner. This is actually just some fabric that I have and I folded it. It works just fine. So if you don't have a table runner, but you do have some fabric laying around, that is an option for you as well. All right, I wasn't going to actually set the table and everything, but now that I'm here, I'm kind of feeling like, well, I feel like that would show how it all kind of comes together. So I'm just gonna do a really simple place setting just so we can really get a good idea of how it would turn out. The plates and the bowls that I'm going to use are different stoneware or pottery pieces that I have. I really like to add an accent or a contrasting color in the center. Here I'm just going to use black in between my two kind of white or creamy pottery pieces. I have these really beautiful fluted gold rim tumbler glasses that I have been dying to use, so I think now's a great time. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and get the candles lit. I'll put the chairs back in. Again, this is not a 
table setting video, so to speak. This is really more about the tablescape or the centerpiece. So I'll go ahead and get those details added and then we will do the reveal. All right, so that was the first look. I really love the way it came out. I'm gonna get this table cleared off and we'll do another one. Here again, I'm gonna start with some dried eucalyptus, but this is going to be used in a different way this time. This is actually going to be more of the base and so you won't see this as much, but it's in this really, really beautiful kind of burnt orange color. It's not looking too special to start off, but again, this is just the base. We're gonna start here by adding some, again, candlestick holders. And I like to do this early on when I'm using a lot of layers because you really wanna get them in there before you start kind of piling things up here so that you're not trying to stick them in at the end. One of the things that I sometimes do is take arrangements and snip them apart so that they're more of individual pieces so that I can lay them individually. You can get arrangements for a really honestly low price and then again like I said just cut them apart so that you can use the pieces individually. I'm just layering these in here with the eucalyptus that's already put down. These are some individual leaves that I just snipped off a bunch and I actually spray painted them so that there was some variation in color and gave them a more matte finish as opposed to an overly shiny finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add these kind of accent leaves in just to give another layer and add kind of more depth to what we're building here. I'm gonna go ahead and reuse our pine cones and just place them throughout the arrangement. So here is where we are at at this point and I love this one because I feel like it looks very natural and like these elements just kind of are laying naturally on the table. I'm gonna go ahead again and place my tapers in here. I kept feeling like I wanted to see a little bit of height brought back in at the ends of the table, so I decided to go ahead and add another candlestick holder to both the left and the right side of the table, and that just gave me more of a balanced look that I was thinking that I really wanted here. Now, this may be too many candles for some of you, and if that's the case, that's okay, but I had thrifted these kind of little votive candles in these really beautiful fall colors, and I just think adding them in here as well would just give a little something extra to this tablescape. Again, if you don't love this many candles, you certainly don't need to add another layer of them. Here I'm just gonna go ahead and start to add the dishes back in. I really do think it makes a difference in seeing the table, so I'm glad I went ahead and did that today. I will make sure that I also get these tapers lit, add the chairs back, and just finish up these little details before we go ahead and reveal what the final tablescape looks like. did decide to switch out the gold rim tumblers for these really beautiful large wine glasses and I do think this just gives the table a little something extra.
All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Like I said, I wanted to do this in a really simple way. I reused a lot of the same items for both looks, so that way it doesn't feel like you have to have a ton of different stuff or buy a ton of different stuff. I have collected brass candlestick holders forever. They're always at the thrift store. Tapers are really inexpensive. Leaves you can buy in kind of bushels and kind of chop them up individually like I did. But these are really simple. Let me know which one you liked better, the first one or the second one. And I think that's it for me. You can give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It does really help the channel. If you'd like to see more content from me, you can subscribe to my channel below. Other than that, I will see you for the next one. Take care.